Okay, so what to do, family? This is y'all video that y'all voted for, okay, two weeks ago. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think it was two weeks ago. So, um, exposure of the karmics. I spy with my third eye. Hold on, is that so? Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I know this man is not watching me literally sitting in front of my house. But, uh, let's get started. So, somebody is in their head. This can be an air sign, masculine energy, or feminine energy. It's like somebody feels trapped, claustrophobic, or it's like somebody knows the truth about a situation. They could be denying it or refusing to give a truth, okay? And this person could just be in this energy they're currently watching. So with the seven of pentacles and the five of pentacles, there was some type of deception. Somebody thought they got away with something, and I feel like spirit is like, ah, gotcha. No, you didn't. So somebody definitely was trying to plan something. Somebody was very confident that something will work. And it did not. This is somebody that I feel like that may live outside of their means. So this is definitely a fire sign mask, the energy that I'm getting. But okay, spirit is telling me like, hey, F the zodiac signs because that's not what it is this is definitely energy so if you feel like i i feel like this person is doing that this is what this karmic is up to for my women that dealing with the karmic energy okay or you have or this could be somebody wanting to return they see that you're having a come up and this come up could be fast or it could be like happening slow this masculine energy is very money hungry okay this is definitely a playboy they're a liar they believe their lies okay um this person is very deceitful in the past you could have been overlooked not been enough for this masculine energy because your funds wasn't you you weren't the type of woman that somebody would deal with because of your financial situation this is somebody that i feel like get out this is somebody that would deal with somebody. I don't care how ugly somebody is. If you got money, they're going. So this is definitely a gold digger. Okay. So it's like spirit is telling you to trust your intuition. Stand in your power. Okay. Um, don't come off naive. Like, this person could know that you're very sensitive. You do something that you you have some type of passion for. You're gaining recognition. And this could be recognition for you having some type of psychic ability. Tower card. So, yeah, this masculine energy could be have definitely go through a tower moment for being deceitful, being tricky. Something could be attacking, like, his finances. When I get the Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, get Six of Pentacles, this man will breadcrumb you. He don't have nothing to really offer you. Like, this man just want to deal with you for what he can gain. Something's not going to work because it's not built on a solid foundation anyway. What? So, it's like somebody is also feeling the loss. Because it's like you may have feelings for a Leo or you may have feelings for somebody else that you hold on a pedestal. Okay. I'm also getting that you're the type of woman that like money is not everything. You could feel like as long as, you know, I could be able to pay my bills on time and do this. Like you, you not, you not materialistic. Like you just feel like me being happy is all that matters so spirit is saying like um what is causing this person a tower moment you could be sad over something else trying to remain positive about something else too even though like you're kind of depressed about something this masculine energy, I feel like, was trying to take advantage of something, too. Because, bottom line, you're on the brink of a come up. So, it's like, he wanted to make sure, like, I, I get on that. This is going to be somebody that's going to try to, like, gaslight you bad. Like, come off, like, your wish fulfillment to them. Pour out their emotions. uh, Try to guilt trip you in order to win you over. They view, whoever this is, they got you fucked up. They really view you as naive. 
they really view you as naive, divine feminine. Hush, Kobe. Yeah, I'm saying that, like, some reason you may catch on to something. This person, listen, you close somebody out because they were being deceitful. You're leaving, you're leaving this masculine energy for a soulmate, regardless. So it's kind of like, yeah, you're going to leave this masculine energy for a soulmate. And it's like the universe is bringing this soulmate in. You got some type of, yeah, your soulmate could be an earth sign masculine energy. Somebody very grounded. This could be somebody that's big on a uh, family, somebody very supportive, somebody that could just, you know, also focus on their money too. So yeah, Ace of Swords, and we got the Death card. This person is like gaining enlightenment, going through some type of truth. You may already know who this person is. You're going to put this masculine energy um, on like a spiritual awakening too. So whoever this ex is from your past, because I'm also getting it. They're not a fire sign sun. They have fire like in their rising. They're right. They got Virgo. I feel like they got Virgo in their north node or in their south node. But this is somebody that got fire sign rising. Yeah, they got fire sign rising, if it's not a fire sign sun. But some of y'all, I'm getting two masculine energies in particular that got their eye out on your relationship with your soulmate. And somebody's trying to come up with some type of sneaky-ass plan to sabotage it, kind of like to steer you away from your person. So this is their plan. This is their plan. I'm also getting that there's a fire sign karmic energy too as well, eyeing your connection. And she is very, very jealous. For some of you guys, no, my bad. Take that back. Take that back. If this is, this is somebody that's like a be. This is somebody that's like a end of November, beginning of December. Like I want to say December 4th, December 7th. This is that karmic. It's like she sees that this masculine energy is coming towards you. It's like not only do you got these weird ass karmics of yours, but your divine masculine has a karmic too as well. Somebody envies the fact that it's like, <laughs> y'all, listen, three of swords, what I tell y'all? What what I tell y'all? This, this, this sagittarius she can have like scorpio in her chart or like she understands that a masculine energy does not want her this is somebody that birthday is like november 22nd somewhere okay so this is a timeline this sagittarius birthday feminine energy she has dealt with this masculine energy she could have broke this masculine energy heart because she was lying being deceptive Okay, and then she's hurt because this masculine energy really cooling her ass and moving forward. Okay, the birthday in between has to be because I'm feeling November 22nd. Somebody's green with envy, too. November 22nd, December 8th, or December 7th. In between that timeline is that karmic's birthday, and this is one of the karmics of y'all divine masculine. So, this masculine energy is coming towards you wanting family, okay? Somebody definitely is trying to slow him down. You could possibly already know that. There's something that you could have also knew about. And it's like you're just waiting, Divine Feminine. I'm telling you, this man is coming to speak to you. There's, there's, there's a third party. Listen, somebody's projecting something towards a divine feminine because of the simple fact that a divine masculine wants to be with this woman and this could be somebody's child's mother so this divine masculine also has several karmics to his will it's like they want to tell somebody like he's really yeah and this is definitely an air sign woman or somebody that's very bitter yeah this is a, i'm telling you whoever this woman is she's an aquarius this is somebody who tries to come off innocent like i'm a good mom I'm a good person. Really, this woman is, like, very toxic, very controlling. Like, this woman likes to party a lot, too, I'm getting. Like, a people pleaser likes to party a lot. Like, you ain't gonna find her. You ain't gonna find her, I feel like, 
pulling out a job application or staying at a job long or handling her priorities. Her ass gonna spend her last twenty dollars on trying to get in the club and then hope that niggas gonna buy her some drinks. Like that's the type of vibe that this woman is. And this is exactly why the divine mask like hell no, I'm not wifing this bitch. Baby mother or not, like just let's let's co parent. That's that's about it. So what song is playing? Black Parade by Beyonce. Uh -huh. Hold on, I gotta play this because Spirit is saying listen to the lyrics or read the lyrics. Yep, Six of Swords, Sun card. Spirit is saying for me to read these lyrics. Okay, Spirit is saying read these lyrics uh, to Black Parade by Beyonce. So, being black, maybe that's the reason why they always mad. Yeah, they always mad. Being past them, I know that's the reason why they all mad and they always have been. Honey, come around my way, around my high. Whenever mama say, mama say. Here I come on my throne, sitting high, follow my parade, on oh, my parade. Talking slick to my folk, my folk nip that lip like lippo. They hear them swarming right, bees is known to bite. Now here we come on our throne, sitting high, follow my parade. Oh my parade. Go. Uh yeah, yeah. I'm for all I'm for us. All black. All crime. Black owned. Black tents. Matte black. Roll by my window. Roll by my window down. Let them see who in it. Crack a big smile. Go figure me and jig a fifty eleven children. They like chick how. I charge my crystals in the full moon. You can send them missiles. I'ma send my goons. Baby sister repping Yem Yemaya. Trust me, they gon' need an army. Rubber bullets bouncing off me. Made a picket. Sign off your picket fence. Take it as a warning. Waste bees from Yuburu. Woo. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. 400 Billy Mana Musa. Stroll line to the barbecue. Put us any damn where. We gon' make it look cute. So I'm definitely getting, if there's a karma that feel like she or he is going to, I'm getting shiver, so I'm right on point. Feel like they're going to resort to spell work. The minute you start protecting you and your divine counterpart with doing protection spells, or whatever, no matter what this karmic is doing, I'm hearing it's going to abide, unwire everything. So if somebody is trying to send negative energy, demonic spirits your way, trying to attack you in your sleep and things like that, or get the like trying to tamper with your car, trying to get you fired. All you have to do is spirit, my ancestors and spirit guys from the highest whitest lights handle that. Or the minute you get frustrated, it's is raps. I knew spirit was like pay attention to the lyrics. So you definitely come from a lineage that is very divine, very spiritually aware, very gifted. Your person could be too as well. And I feel like you putting this, listen, listen, the comic feel like, listen, somebody, somebody, somebody is stressing out and it's because they're learning the consequences. Somebody is nervous because they know that they did something. Even their spirit guys, somebody tried to speak death on somebody or, or something. And spirit is like, you should never, it should have never did that. I'm telling you. Somebody is trying to get themselves out of karma. Like, it's in a way, I feel like somebody's trying to pray their way out. Somebody is definitely leaving somebody. Eight of Wands. And coming straight towards who they know that they need to get this offer from. I'm also getting to as well. Listen. Your person. They want to balance things out with you. They're tired of arguing. They're tired of like the no talking. Or somebody is like if I hit him or her up. Are we going to argue? We going to bigger? Somebody really mean it by it's like. I'm already going through a lot right now. I kind of need you in my corner. Like if y'all talk something out. They don't want it to be a yelling, screaming match. Okay? They want to be able to... Yeah. So, that is the exposure of the karmic. And there is a karmic watching this video. And they, they sit back and they watch. Trying to gain information on how to be 
tense that's ahead of a divine counterpart. But the thing is, for some of y'all, no, not for some. The thing is, these two divine counterparts are meant to be together. You can try to delay something as much as you want, but for a spirit to step in, like God, somebody's spirit guides to step in, this is a losing battle for you as a as a karmic. Like, yeah. So it's like um somebody is aware of that shit. Whoever this is, you're aware of that. And you're gonna if you if it's not right away, it's like the way life gonna be for you. It's gonna be life gonna be so hard, such a burden for you that you gonna you're going to release this. Yeah, it's like you gonna still talk shit about this woman. You gonna still like watch her, but it's like you gonna really be mad because this woman's so protected. Like you cannot fuck with her. You cannot fuck with this man. You're going to release that, and that's the ending of the 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 situation because it's like what really makes makes you mad is this woman is gifted. You can't you can't fuck with her. Her gifts, her abilities. Whatever demonic entity that you're sending this woman, her higher self is, I feel like, neutral. Not evil, but not good either. So it's like when you send demonic en entities to this woman, they, they snitch on you. Because the thing is, I'm here wherever you are. Come out and play. They're going to come back to you. Because it's like you didn't send them on a wild goose chase to where they like, you got to you pay up. So whoever this is, baby... You better start finding out who spiritually protected, where they ranked that spiritually before you go trying to bark up the right tree. And I'm hearing this divine orchestrated for you to try this woman. And that's all that I have.